So, um, uh, Daniel, before you introduce yourself, uh, I'll set a bit of the stage here. Um, today's AMA, obviously, between DIA and Nervos Network, uh, an integration partnership we announced uh, very recently. Uh, we're really excited to work with Nervos and uh, work alongside them on the data side and, and help grow their ecosystem. There's quite a few interesting things that we think that they're working on that they've shared with their community recently. Um, and, you know, we'll touch on those and more. Um, so uh, I myself, Akash, I run uh, BD here um, uh, at, at DIA, focusing on partnerships and integrations. Uh, prior to DIA, uh, I spent three years at TradeBlock, building out reference rates for Grayscale and for Purpose uh, for their digital asset ETFs and structured index products. Um, and before that, I spent time um, at Jefferies in their fixed income department. Um, DIA, uh, very quickly, as we all know, uh, is an on-chain data provider. Uh, we service as a very uh, distributed Oracle provider. We're uh, deployed very heavily in the substrate ecosystem. Uh, we'll be announcing some exciting protocol uh, integrations uh, and deploys um, in the coming weeks. And obviously, we're deployed on ETH and a majority of the EVM-compatible chains, such as BSC, Polygon, um, and, and others of the same ilk. Um, Daniel, uh, why don't you introduce yourself, talk a bit about uh, what you're doing uh, at Nervos, um, in what capacity, and, and tell everybody a bit about what Nervos is doing and, and the unique value you guys are providing. Cool, great. So, so first of all, uh, great to meet you, uh, Akash, and... Uh... Uh, yeah, very, very professional uh, introduction. <laughs> so my, yeah. my introduction might be, uh, might be not, uh, not so organized, but basically I'm a blockchain developer since 2017. I, I started in Ethereum, then I worked in energy and blockchain space and also security tokens, uh, doing open source development um, for a long, long time. And right now, a blockchain engineer and developer relations at Nervous Network. Um, where basically right now our main focus is to kickstart DeFi uh, ecosystem on our uh, layer two, which is EVM compatible. That's why uh, we uh, we are integrating with Dia, and that's why uh, we want to have uh, oracles uh, on our chain. Um, so yeah, we have re recently launched uh, a mainnet of our Ethereum bridge. Um, we expect the Cardano uh, bridge to, to happen soon. Um, we have launched mainnet of our EVM solution on layer two optimistic rollup. So yeah, lots of releases on our site uh, as well. Uh, pretty similar to, to, to you guys. I, I saw some announcements on your Twitter integrating with, um, with other chains. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, we, we think you are a great partner uh, for us. Yeah, no, certainly, uh, like you said there um, at the end, in terms of working um, and deploying solutions on uh, these uh, roll-ups um, and, and these uh, ZK setups, uh, it is somewhat the future of the L2 scaling solutions for ETH, given uh, what we've seen over the entirety of this past summer uh, with astronomic gas fees, and, and then given uh, the recent resurgence as we're consolidating at this price range, um, in gas fees over the last week that um, deploying uh, what it is that we want to do from the data side um, is a, a very high cost task, right? And, and as dApps, as protocols, as they expand and, and they want to host data, they want to provision data at, at a much lower latency and a much greater frequency, um, you know, paying a hundred dollars for uh, the ability to call, and push data on chain every single time um, is obviously an extremely prohibitive measure. Um, so, so uh, you know, Daniel, you, you know, you mentioned obviously you want to work with DIA for for the given reasons of you know where we're what we're doing and where we're deploying, and, and obviously something that we had um, communicated to the team uh, when we initially had begun discussions was the value that we provide when it comes to um, utilizing on chain data. Right, so something we had communicated, and Daniel can maybe speak to this a little bit about some of the dApps and some of the things you guys maybe be looking to do with the data that we're provisioning you, um, is that we have, you know, very differentiated data feeds versus our contemporaries, right? So you look at, at a chain link or an API three of the worlds or, or a band, um, we take it one step further from propagating data on chain to building out these 
highly customizable or, or you know, wide labeled um, index reference rates, right? So taking into account liquidity at, at given centralized and decentralized exchanges and building these high fidelity feeds that during times when we have anomalic price movements, for example, you know, flash crashes on an exchange, you know, we, we can take that into account and make sure that there aren't cascading liquidations for a DEX that we're serving as an Oracle provider for or, or for a credit platform that we're providing reference rates for for, for a person's balance. Um, so, so, Daniel, I, I, you know, I don't want to keep talking forever, but I'd love to hear about, you know, some of the interesting things that you guys are working on. I know yesterday you announced um, God Woken. Um, obviously, you, you hinted at that earlier um, as one of your scaling solutions. Um, you know, would, would love if you could talk a bit about that. So, yeah, first of all, I want to say that we are coming from the exactly same point as you guys are coming. So basically, uh, the fees of the of Ethereum is obviously a um, very, very trending topic right now. And, and uh, all the scaling solutions, as you mentioned, uh, optimistic rollups. Uh, ZK rollups, uh, side chains, uh, etc. And uh, going going to the thing that you said at the end, uh, of, uh, like previously, and uh, you were um, you were talking about more advanced um, feeds, basically. And I can tell you that from a developer perspective, and also you know building some, uh, especially cross chain applications, uh, basically to build a DeFi ecosystem on a new blockchain right now, I think it's very important for you to have, you know, good amount of bridges and as well, uh, you need to have this data, you need yeah. to have these oracles. And basically, um, if you can take some data from, from oracles um, at the beginning, and maybe because, you know, later maybe you want to have some more complex proofs and, and bridges for, for different sorts of, of data, but basically it, it can help you greatly to, to, to start this ecosystem. Um, so, so yeah, yeah no, this is very important def thing. Definitely agreed. I, I think um, we've seen as a service provider, uh, a lot of folks that are building out bridges, um, like you are already doing right. You, you've announced it and, and it's very readily available in the docs um, in terms of guides that are there, but you guys have multiple bridges and the intention to build multiple bridges between different chains. And from a data perspective, communicating the state of one chain to another um, is something that's very important, right? There are a lot of considerations to take into fact, um, whether that's uh, the state um, of the input and the state of the output, um, not only related to transactional history, but also pricing data. Um, on one chain, as a very, very basic example, you might have USDC floating, you know, at a premium over uh, the US dollar price, whereas on another chain, it might be trading at a discount. Um, and, and having an Oracle provider that simply doesn't take a one-to-one -one or an on-face or par value of that um, is going to be extremely important, right? And working, you know, we, we've worked with you. And obviously, uh, we have uh, upcoming integrations uh, for the DIA community that we'll be announcing with other folks that are, you know, using our data feeds for bridges, uh, where we've spent very considerable time carefully understanding um, and, and, and dictating and talking through how you should handle pricing um, over a bridge. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're super excited. And one of the reasons why Nervous was very uh, interesting to us when we, when we had first reached out and we first had these discussions was... Um, how bullish you guys are in this multi-chain ecosystem, how, you know, how you guys are approaching uh, this next phase that's playing out in front of us of crypto and, and, and moving forward. Uh, so definitely would, would love to hear your thoughts a bit um, on, on how you guys are approaching the multi-chain ecosystem. Um, obviously, you hinted at, you know, the bridge, it's bridges you have and, and what you're doing today. But, you know, if there's anything that, that's coming up in, in the roadmap in the future, that you think the community on the DIA side and, and also on the Nervo side and, and, and the general community to hold should know, you know, feel free to, to share that now and, you know, we can definitely talk about it. Yeah, so, so definitely we have uh, grants for people trying to, to port their applications uh, from other chains uh, to Nervos and obviously uh, leverage uh, some existing infrastructure that, that we are porting. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely we are very much focused yeah, on, on what you just said. So basically, 
um, so you said about like oracles for and and uh, basically providing data about chains, but we can narrow it down to to providing data about uh, applications because I I I I think I so the most interesting thing I saw uh, in your documentation from from my perspective is, is probably getting some things like you know lending borrowing rates uh, and and stuff like this because if if you want to build uh, some cross chain decks which you know is, is super interesting right now uh, we will have first uh, cross chain uh, decks launching on uh, probably in december on mm -hmm. november 30th they they have ido um, but basically you know our dream is to to have application where uh, you, you can connect using your MetaMask wallet and, you know, Ethereum uh, chain and, and then maybe you have some funds on a Tron chain or Cardano and you can, you know, just seamlessly do these swaps. And uh, so this is basically what we want, we, what products we want to see uh, on our chain. And yeah, we are very, very bullish on this. We, we spend a lot of time basically building this stuff started we started from you know designing our protocol on our layer one to be very uh, flexible and interoperable uh, that's why recently you know for example we recently introduced bitcoin taproot support because uh, for example in ethereum you have this uh, externally owned account uh, hard coded into protocol so so the concept like which keys you can use for your account so because Nervos is a UTXO blockchain, it's, it's kind of different and we can easily uh, integrate basically multiple wallets. So we can easily add Tron support. Uh, if, you, if you want to interact uh, with Nervos layer two, then you basically need only MetaMask and uh, to deposit funds. And right. for example, you, you can go to, uh, if you can get CKB on layer one, then if you want to deposit on layer two, you can just use MetaMask. And uh, yeah, so this is our plan. Basically, you can connect multiple wallets from from just basically onboard users from from different chains. That's why we we also need this need this data, uh, as you said, from from apps. Because if if we want to build, for example, cross chain uh, lending protocol, or as you said, there can there can be a premium or or some differences on on trading parts, and maybe you would like to execute. Uh, cross-chain arbitrage i think it's also very interesting in terms of uh, you know these projects such as uh, maybe fla flashbots and, and other things because uh, if you have uh, if you have good source of data then maybe you can uh, do some more advanced uh, ways of extracting uh, minimum extractable value so so yeah it's it's pretty interesting and i think it's uh, it's very futuristic approach um, both that Dia is taking and Nervos, but I'm not sure if it's even future or it's, you know, just present at this point, uh, yeah. basically. Yeah, definitely at, a, at this pace at which the space moves, um, thinking too far in the future um, it somehow ends up being short-sighted. Um, you know, builders iterate like yourself uh, at such a rapid pace. Uh, it, it's very difficult to keep up. Um, so, yeah, you, you mentioned, um, you know, I'd like to touch on some of the uh, dApps or, or, or DEXs that are going to be deploying um, on you guys very soon. You mentioned you have a DEX coming out in late December. Uh, is there anything else that you think um, ecosystem participants should keep their eye out for um, in, in terms of usability on the platform or products? Um, so I don't want to, to give uh, too, too, too much information, but definitely sure. there's, there's a lot of projects being work, worked on. Uh, we have this mainnet uh, beta for now. Um, so right now we have a whitelist, basically, of the projects that want to deploy on our EVM layer 2 solution. There is a whitelist only because we want to start uh, slow and you know, make sure everything goes right. Um, so yeah, this uh, DEX is a first first thing that's going to launch but yeah definitely there's there's more stuff coming i'm not sure if if it will launch this year or or next year but um okay well yeah. no i think that's what we like to hear right you know uh, uh constantly building having liquidity incentive programs uh, etc that's that's stuff that we like to hear and then uh, dex is a first great step you know uh, onboarding that liquidity to the network uh, is yeah. paramount 
Yeah, and I can tell you that uh, everyone is asking uh, about oracles. It's almost one of the first questions uh, they have when they when they come to us, uh, trying to you know uh, integrate or port their application. It's it's uh, one of the first questions. Um, yeah, no, no, I, I can I can imagine so, and something that we see all the time when we talk to 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 DApps and, and protocols. Um, and so speaking of you know what we have today, um, so. Dia out of the gate, what will be is uh, integrated on the Godwoken EVM, um, obviously for the sake of provisioning dApps that are going to be building on EVM with very reliable data. Um, the contract format and standard, obviously, given of how much it marries Ethereum and makes the structures and the data objects that we're working with um, easily translatable. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward to working with folks in the God woke and the nervous community, uh, that are going to be building, um, you know, nervous has an excellent documentation set, uh, for those that are looking to build I highly recommend you look through that. There's a ton of tutorials out there, um, in the documentation and super organized in terms of getting onboarded, um, and, and, and running instances locally. Um, so definitely do take a look there. And then in terms of interacting with the DO oracles in this uh, environment, uh, it, it's, it's going to be very easy. And it will be one of many so hopeful uh, data solutions in the Nervos ecosystem. Um, something that we push and, and, and Nervos uh, obviously communicated to us that we wholly support is that there should be multiple data sources and you know, um, an abundance of information available for builders and for participants alike. Uh, so we're not looking to uh, restrict um, any access by any means, whether that's commercially or, or, or just semantically. Um, we have a data set that we're very confident in and we're very pleased that Nervous has chosen us to, to work alongside them. And, and we invite uh, any other participants, whether it's a community member who wants to submit uh, something through our governance proposal pages. Um, the other day we had a proposal to integrate uh, spell um, opera cadaver money onto our platform, you know, stuff like that, that we love uh, and for proposals around what methodology should look like and, and how the integrations can work. And, and alongside that um, other Oracle and data providers, uh, we would love to see them on board and nervous uh, and, and provide their robust solutions uh, to, to, to your ecosystem. Um, I will add to that uh, a bit that, we are approaching data uh, a bit differently. So, so for those builders in here, uh, for those people, investors or, or participants alike that are looking, you know, for uh, data sets, you know, feel free to reach out to myself, you know, King Mikel, who runs our, our, our comms here on Twitter and, 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 you know, let us, let us know. We're happy to support you in any way that's possible. Uh, we're taking a much, much different approach than a chain link or, or any of our contemporaries. And, and we're very proud of that. And, you know, we don't say our solution is better, but we definitely do take stock in what we've been doing. Um, and, and, and I'll say, uh, Daniel, it's, it's been a pleasure working with your team so far. Uh, we found it to be a very easy experience. Uh, the hackathon that you guys did in September uh, – it looked like it went extremely well. And it was one of the things that had piqued our interest in working with you guys, the way you handled that uh, and the support you provided through the entire process of onboarding um, our Oracle to, to, to your network. Um, Daniel, yeah, if, if can, there's, yeah, yeah I ahead. can say, say this, the same thing. It's, it's uh, much easier to work with, with people who are, you know, like-minded and, and, and thinking into the future, into um, taking a cross chain and interoperability very seriously. So I have a question. Um, so because I see that, for example, for lending and borrowing rates that you guys provide, and let's say uh, we have Aave deployed on, on some other chains, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, BSC or, or Polygon or, 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 or something else. Uh, is it possible, for example, if for, you know, to get rates from Aave deployed on other chain um, on the chain that that you have this oracle so basically can you ask for lending and borrowing rates um, on this same application say Ava, for example on the other network yeah yeah that's that's something that we're doing right so uh, it, it's it's funny when when you think about data traditionally you you had data uh for example for one asset from one exchange um, or, or more multiple exchanges. And we've had to carry that, that, that same logic over 
um, into DeFi. Um, so, so yes, uh, if we have Aave on, 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 on one chain or, or another, we're able to uh, distinctly identify those um, and, and push you those different rates. Um, you know, a, a much more prominent example or something that might be easier to digest is um, what I'd mentioned before, you know, prices from, from bridges that we're providing from one chain to another, you know, we have USDC price on ETH and, you know, a USDC price on Solana. Uh, you know, we can obviously feed those to you and, you know, that might be trading at different values and we can create these unique data objects that you can uh, then uh, import. So, yeah, 100 percent. We have tons and tons of data. Cool. Yeah, this is this is super interesting because, yeah, these apps uh, are getting deployed all over, like all over, like like multiple blockchains and you know theoretically it's it's the same application but actually each instance is different and the liquidity is different the the, the rates might be different so so yeah something that uh, that's that's really interesting if you are building cross chain application today um, yeah so yeah, no, yeah maybe, maybe i i just mentioned that yeah if anyone would like to uh, to port their ethereum application uh, to nervos and you know, maybe take advantage of being first uh, first person deploying their application. Uh, maybe not Dex because we already we already have one Dex. But you know, if you create another Dex, it 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 will be still one of the first uh, apps. So yeah, I would just recommend to go to nervous.org and uh, apply to be whitelisted for our beta. That's you know, uh, our main net is is you know already working. And uh, yeah, first application is, is going to be deployed in, in December, uh, I think. Um, so yeah, we also have grants for people to, that would like to port their Ethereum applications. And yeah, we are happy to, to jump on the chat. Uh, make sure yeah. to, to join our Discord. You can find the link at nervous.org. And yeah, we are, we are happy to help. Yeah, that was, uh, I was actually about to move over to the community Q&A. And that was one of the first questions that was pending was how, 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 how can, how can folks get onboarded? So thanks for that. Um, and, and we have another question from, 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 from the community that I will, I'll push to you before I get to the last one. Um, someone would love a clarification um, or maybe a bit more info that you can provide on how Nervos differs from other chains. Um, so maybe if you want to talk a bit about that um, at, at a high level, that would be great. Well, so <laughs> That's that's very deep topic, but basically we are UTXO chain, so we are different from chains like Ethereum because Ethereum is using account-based model, and we are more like UTXO. We are more like Bitcoin and Cardano. Actually, we are allies with Cardano and other UTXO chains. So our layer one is has been written from scratch. Our one of our top researchers used to work at Ethereum Foundation. Uh, he used to work uh, on the sharding and then he decided to start uh, Nervos. So we are very different. There's a lot of theory and research behind uh, the protocol. Uh, before it was created, we are very flexible. Uh, as I said, uh, we integrated EVM, uh, EVM compatible layer and Bitcoin Taproot basically at the same time. It's, it's, it's very hard to do if your protocol isn't flexible. We are very low level. Uh, our protocol is very low level. That's why you can implement different uh, cryptographic functions, as I said, like different wallets. So yeah, that's that's why we are different. Yeah, no, great, 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 uh, great explanation. Um, and the, and the last question uh, before we wrap up was uh, actually directed at us. Um, I guess something that I didn't mention. Um, somebody wanted to know um, how. We manage our data uh, versus other oracles. Um, so we employ an extremely distributed um, infrastructure. Um, what we're focusing on really is the data uh, that we're pushing soon. Um, sorry, the data that we're pushing on chain. Uh, so we, we have uh, these confidential compute environments where we um, ingest data, uh, compute them. Um, and then we're able to sign um, everything that happened on the input, the computation and the output um, had no uh, quote unquote man in the middle attacks. Um, and then we publish that data on chain. We also work with infrastructure providers 
um, such as, you know, Anchor and, and other node providers um, that um, will run uh, their own instances and, and help validate our data. We also uh, encourage the dApps themselves that we're working with to run a node so that way uh, they can validate that the data is uh, in itself uh, true in nature. Um, taking this kind of sort of distributed approach gives us the freedom um, to uh, work with data at a much different level than other Oracle providers. Uh, so we get to push out these highly customizable feeds uh, for long tail assets that, that maintain this extreme data integrity in, in, in moments of anomalic price movements. Um, so before I bore everybody with any more details around the intricacies of, intricacies of, 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 of uh, data, I think this is a great place to wrap up. Daniel uh, and, and, and the Minerva's community at Hall, I, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, Daniel, thank you for spending uh, your time to speak with us um, and, and explain what you guys are doing. We're very excited to work with you um, and continue to build to the future. Um, and I will add one last call out for any builders in the chat, um, any, any VCs that are looking for data and are looking for uh, a network such as Neuros, please feel free to reach out to, to either one of us um, over our Telegram through, through our official communication channels or, or any emails that you see. Feel free to shoot us an email. We're more than happy to get back to you. And, and I think Nervous will, will likely feel the same way. They have um, probably their, their whitelist that you can um, you know, submit, a, submit a request on and, and, and work from there. Um, otherwise... Daniel, if you have any other comments, um, I, I think this is a great place to wrap up and for everybody to enjoy the rest of their day. Uh, it's been a great introduction to, to both protocols. And uh, thank you, Akash, uh, for taking the time today. Yep, likewise. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, everyone.